Andy. I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome back to the Dice Tower Library as we look through the library shelf by shelf. And today we are on shelf 8B. So let's take a look here at the different games. As I said last time, the games on this shelf are kind of Euros style games, but also they're dictated by box size. So first of all, here we have Manhattan. Now this is the newest version of Manhattan from Korea. Uh, has translucent fluorescent buildings. I know some people might like the normal color buildings of the original. I'm just glad to have a copy at all. This one, the Spiel des Jahres, and for good reason. It's a really good uh, family weight style game, but has a lot of in your face take that elements. It's really fun. Next to it's a fantastic heh, game. Fantastic Factories, in this game, a dice placement game as you're placing dice to run your factories to get different points. This is a game that really uh, is a was a game from a, a newer company that just it, the production values were high. It's really good. Now we have a pair of games, the Manhattan Project and Energy Empire. The Manhattan Project was the best game Minions Games has done. Unfortunately, the sequel not nearly as good, which is why it's not in the library. But the Manhattan Project about uh, building the uh, atomic bombs. You don't actually drop them in the game, it, but just a really good worker placement game, just solid. Energy Empire is a spin-off, but it's about producing energy and pollution and maybe too much pollution. They're both very different games, but I think they're both quite good. Then we have the next three are kind of a trilogy of sorts. Like they're like from Tasty Mitchell game, but all about the old West. You know, the first one is the Gold West game or Gold West. Actually, of the three, I have not played this one. I've heard nothing but good about it. And this is on my shelf of shame, per se. I really need to get this one played. But I have played the next two, Pioneer Days, which is about, kind of, it's kind of like if someone made a good game based on the Oregon Trail. That's what Pioneer Days would be, just a solid game. And then uh, Old West Empresario is a game in which you get dice and, and you're drafting dice and using those dice to buy buildings and activate them. I just played this one recently, a good game. The next two games I put next to each other because they're both um, have Carthago in the name. Porto Carthago is a trading, well, actually, they're both trading games. So Porto Carthago is probably, in my opinion, the more boring of the two, but I know a lot of people like it, which is why it's in the library. And Carthago's from Capstone Games. This one's also good, really kind of went under the radar, and there's a lot of game in that small box. Then we move on to Baron Park, and I've said many good things about Baron Park. It's one of my favorite zoo-style games. A bear park that you're building, having different style bears. It's a polyomino game and a really good one. Fine Sand is a wonky style game. This one's from Friedman Fries. It's kind of a game where you're trying to shed cards from your deck, get rid of them. It's more of an experimental game, as a lot of his games are, and I don't know how long this one will be in the library. We'll see how many people play it. Mogul's a game a lot of people haven't played or will play unless you see me at a convention. I might pull this one out because it's a stock game in which you bet on stock, bid on stock, and you throw chips on the stock. And uh, when you stop throwing chips on, you take the chips back, but then you're out of the bidding. Really intriguing game. It's simple, but really fun. Cafe International there, that's the updated version from Amigo, it was one of the first Spiel des Jahres winners. I actually don't think it's that great of a game, but it has a lot of pedigree behind it. Thus, that's why it's in the library. Then we have Heroes Welcome. In this one, you're helping run a town where the heroes are going to go off and fight in the dungeon, and you are providing them the stuff that they need. Good, solid game. One of the best ones from Pencil First. Cacao. The, you know, uh, a game similar to Carcassonne in many ways where you're placing tiles. The tiles look like Carcassonne, but you're doing the chocolate beans. This one has got a lot of buzz. And this one, this one has stayed relevant for, it's, I think it's been almost five years since it's come out. Anchors Away is a speed game, but one I think that works well. There's a lot of these speed games out there. This feels like a speed game made for gamers. It's very cartoony artwork and it. it sounds sillier than it is, but I think it's a pretty solid game. And then St. Malo is one of the original roll and write games where you're drawing on your board. It's, it's more thematic than many of these as you build a little town, and I like it quite a bit. I think of all the games on this shelf, wow, there's a lot of really good ones. Yeah, it's either going to be Baron Park, Fantastic Factories, Manhattan Project, or Manhattan itself. 
Mm, I, th I keep coming back to Fantastic Factories might be my favorite, but there's a lot of really good games on this shelf. What's yours? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, though, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been taking a look at another shelf in the Dice Tower Library. Thank you.